What's up, baby? Hi, honey. Johnny, last night we were trying to do this thick one, Masa. Like, we would have slept behind his microphone in. <laughs> I tell you, in the lally's voice, Zahala. <laughs> but I feel, I, feel, I feel more refreshed this morning. I thank God for the privilege. Yes. How are you? Because we were rushing, I didn't, I didn't get to say good morning, well. Good morning. It's well. It's okay. the dear Lord. <laughs> you really do. I'm excited about Barry Rabbi and us getting to do this again. Um, so we, we are trusting the Holy Spirit to keep guiding us so that we say the things we need to say and address the things we need to address for the kingdom of God. Yeah. So, hi to our listeners. Sorry, we just gave you <laughs> deep on an inside conversation. <laughs> Right. This is the Faith, Hope, and Love podcast. I think I'm rather call this a podcast, mm. not a show. Okay, flow, flow, cry, Tali. I think naturally my husband is very entertaining. Mm. So, <laughs> yes, I'm not entertaining one, but it's not. It's not really a show. It's, it's more like a podcast. So why, why, why are you excited? Why are you excited to be doing Brian and Robbie again? I mean, I don't know. When we were sitting down last week doing the introductory video, I remembered, um, how they call it, when we were shooting at Death Draco, <laughs> our first house. Yeah. When we were shooting, shooting behind that uh, uh, mural. 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 Yeah. Mural. Mural. Yeah. Like mural. A picture wall. A picture wall. Yeah. Let's make it you know, very simple. Yeah. A picture wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, that that's, what, that's what came to my mind. But I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited and that's we, we, we get to do this again. One thing that um, doing this um, Faith Hope and Love blog mm. podcast show <laughs> <laughs> was very <laughs> interesting. One thing that was interesting for me while we, when we started doing it was how people used to reach out to us right. with unique situations, right. peculiar mm-hmm. situations that we personally did not. Absolutely, and even at that time, we didn't know much. Yeah, um, we had, we had received a lot of teaching from Apostle Apostle yeah. Kingsley concerning relationships. Uh-huh. Um, so when we started, it was like one year into marriage into and marriage, about yeah. six years, six five years of friendship. Yeah, right. But we had we didn't know much about marriage. Right, but we knew but we, we had a we fair had understanding, a fair of, understanding of, of relationships. relationships Absolutely, especially because of how our courtship went. Yeah, how did our courtship go? Um, I think we learned a lot about each other. Right. And I think that's the whole point of courtship or Mm. friendship before you get married. You learn about each other. Right. That you don't stop learning, of course. Absolutely. Because up to today, we still hear new stories. Yeah, and by God's mercy, by the end of June, we'll be entering... No, by the time... This no, by the time this podcast comes, comes out, out, yes, we yes, would have been five years. years. So, yes. Yeah. Masa, <laughs> you grow, Masa. You're a walking crowd. It's just it's okay. five. My Almost kid. in class one, kindergarten. Oh, like if it were before a child. Absolutely. But it's just five. We are pretty yeah, fairly new yeah, still. Yeah, actually, actually. Yeah. Yes. But I really, think... We give God the glory because yeah. it's been an interesting five years. Interesting five years. And, and foundations have been very crucial. Crucial in... Yeah. 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 So we are grateful to God for His help. Yeah, for we are His help. Helped. I love it. Yeah. Great, greatly helped by God. Greatly helped by the God. Master. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you were saying something. I was just talking about the fact that foundations were very, very crucial mm-hmm. in what where, where God has brought us mm-hmm. to now. Yeah. Um, starting from when we, we became friends in 2012, mm-hmm. until now, the the foundation has been. I mean, it, it proves, yeah. it shows in how we even re- react and interact with each other. Mm-hmm. So the foundation 
was very, has been very, very important. Yeah. Or is very, very important. What do you mean by foundation? Um, so like a structure that is, that's keeping the, the relationship or the friendship going. So when I was waking up this morning, I remembered uh, a, a while ago, my brother George and myself, we were going home and then we chanced on a building that was falling down. Yeah, I remember you know, that. that, that yeah. Thing, yeah. It was like a four or three story building. Yeah, it's still under construction. Still under construction. And what happened was that the building fell killed a lot, a lot, lot of people yeah. including the owner yeah and the diagnosis of that particular um diagnosis, hey, master, <laughs> the diagnosis was, <laughs> no. investigation okay of that particular matter was that mm-hmm. the foundation was not strong enough mm. the pillars they had about they had a number of pillars but yeah. because of the number of floors that they wanted to do yeah. If they needed to increase the, the, the floor, I mean, the, the foundation had to be in mind yeah. to build the building. Yeah. So, because um, what I don't know much mm-hmm. about building, but right. what I know is um, like the higher you go, the deeper you have to. The deeper you have to go into the into the ground. Yeah. Or the more or the more. Um, the more foundation. The, the, the deeper the, the deeper the foundation, or the stronger the foundation that the building will be. I mean, any of the architects can can give us one of these. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> deep explanations but yeah True. so, the, so I found the foundations is the basis for every relationship mm-hmm. so especially for those who are entering into their uh, like singles who are yeah. preparing themselves for relationships mm-hmm. for relationship with the opposite sex mm-hmm. we're talking about like biblically like in preparation towards marriage yeah um the found you have the foundation that you have been able to build counts mm-hmm. and then the foundation you're able to build with the other person also counts okay Cause I was going to find out that so um does this we're talking about relationships in general right, right. so even romantic relationships also mm-hmm. require foundation absolutely but also beyond that mm-hmm. other relationships also require foundation but like yeah. if I have a relationship with like maybe the doorman mm-hmm. the like the foundation really in such a relationship is my foundation right. and his foundation right but what I'm thinking is is if my foundation is like if where i'm coming from is correct mm. like if my foundation is pretty strong right. irrespective of their foundation yeah. i'll be able to sort of cover the multitude of weaknesses that they may have substantially vice versa. It, it's, it's a i think it's a it's a dual relationship or a dual building of, of foundation mm-hmm. so in, in, in a sense I, and I need to build my foundation, you need to build a foundation. Because mm-hmm. marriage is not just a marriage relationship, it's not just one party, it's not a one party thing. Yeah. It's a two party thing. Yeah. 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 And one thing Apostle always one thing Apostle is always saying is um, you know, you have to fix yourself. You have to be to be well for women. Absolutely. Well, I usually I'm sorry. I always every time he's giving the advice, I take for the woman. Which is wisdom. And for the woman, you have to be a, you have to make yourself you have to be a good wife mm. before you are found. Right. So something that always always mentioned. Yes. Yeah. Um, it says that. But, um, oh, I forget the scripture. We read his scripture. Watch me. It's it's the he who finds a wife finds a good thing. Right. And so, obtains favor. And obtains favor from the Lord. So mm. he who finds a wife. So the wife you you are there as wife before right. you are found. And what makes you the wife is really the foundation. Absolutely. So. As citizens of the kingdom of God, mm. I would like to think that what we're talking about is a foundation being Christ, right? Absolutely. Um, I mean, for we 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 are strong or we are strong representatives of the kingdom of mm-hmm. Jesus, yeah, the kingdom of God, yeah, um, with Jesus Christ as the focus. Um, so this is this is background for, yeah. for <laughs> yeah. so every angle we are coming from is based on biblical principles yes yeah the, for the kingdom of god yeah and from what, what what god has been teaching us or what we've learned is really he's really we really want to be directly involved in interpersonal relationships okay. what does a foundation that is built on god looks like look like what does it look like what does it look like yes I think it's a it's a very strong foundation. Uh, I'm saying that because I noticed that in the scripture I was reading it yesterday. Remember, I was recounting the scripture to you, mm-hmm. uh, First John chapter four from verse seven. Mm-hmm. Um, I think you can read it if you have the, the chance. You First, John, yeah. First John chapter four verse seven, seven and eight, mm-hmm. and actually speaks about he that knows God knows love, mm-hmm. uh, because God is love. So 
what that actually means is that he that has a foundation of a relationship with Jesus mm-hmm. already has a foundation of love. So what, what comes to mind is that we see a lot of... Um, so what comes to mind is those in, in Hollywood, a lot of them in Hollywood, and this is not to throw shade on anyone in Hollywood, okay. as an observation. Uh, statistics. Yeah. <laughs> it shows that a lot of those in Hollywood struggle with, with marriage. Yeah. Because it, it seems as though they are like, like in a relationship mm-hmm. where we do break up, break up, and mm-hmm. there's a lot of divorces, yeah. um, etc. And I believe strongly that the, the, the foundation of love in Christ might be lacking. Might mm-hmm. be lacking. Mm-hmm. Even in the church. Yeah. What I think, was it this year? I was having a conversation. Actually, what might is lacking. It's lacking. Yes. yes. And that's not just for like Hollywood people. Right. Because at, even in the church, like in the body of Christ, mm. we find that um, some marriages that are built up seemingly mm-hmm. in the space of the church also don't last the test of time for right. various reasons. Right. So it's not really just about that as well. I I specifically so there's that facade that if you are if it's something that is found in the building, the church building or in mm. in in such circles, right. it means it's on the right foundation. Right. But recent times, you would find that some of the things that you would expect to hear and yeah, see yeah. from people that are even leading, you know, we hear and see them. Right. right. So that's that's something that um, we should also add to uh, the yeah, conversation. Absolutely. So that we are not missing from it. Mm. So First um, John yeah. four verse seven, dear friends, let us love one another because love comes from God. Because mm. whoever. Love, it- comes from God. Comes from God. Yeah. Whoever loves is a child of God and knows God. Yeah. So and we know that love is it's like it's like the foundation of relationships. Yeah. So if we, you you need to find out the source of where this love is coming from. And that's where a lot of people will miss it. Or most people, some people will miss it. Yeah. So the foundation of your relationship with Jesus is very crucial mm-hmm. in sustaining the relationship that you have. Mm-hmm. And we're not we're not talking about people who are cohabiting with each other for many many years because we we've heard that we've heard stories like that they've been together for about sixty years and they get divorced. Maybe they were together for a long time because of their children. Yeah. But the aspect aspect of the foundation of love from Christ. It's very, very crucial. What we're talking about, First Corinthians chapter 13, love um, suffers long, love does not, uh, does not, uh, it's not easily angered, mm-hmm. etc. Those principles, or like those structures form the foundation of your relationship mm-hmm. where it's very easy for you to let go, very okay. easy for you to forgive. And these things are built over time. Okay, so yeah. I think you've just talked about what a strong foundation looks like. Because when I asked right. you, you said it, what does it, what, but what as a no what as a foundation built on Christ looks like right. like instead it's really strong. Right. So it, essentially we are just talking about the characteristics of love. Absolutely. And how that needs to be ingrained right. in your relationship. Right. But beyond the relationship, mm-hmm. I think it also needs to be ingrained in the person. Okay. Right? Because there's your relationship is only as good as you are. Mm, absolutely. So that basically means that like developing, knowing in your single state how you must develop yourself, constantly work on yourself mm-hmm. to be able to um, be a, a suitable help to, to, um, to your, your partner. Yeah, I remember that's Apostle, a woman. Yeah, I remember Apostle Kingsley has mm-hmm. been mentioning that he spoke yeah. to us to, about this in church. Yes. That before you become, a, before you, you meet, I mean for women, before you meet up with your husband, mm-hmm. you're already a, 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 a wife, material. wife material. So you must have that, that, that consciousness in your mind mm-hmm. and build towards it. Mm-hmm. So baby, I wanted to ask that, how did you build your foundation um, in Christ towards our relationship or towards our marriage? You forgot that when we, 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 we met, we I, wasn't, I wasn't correct. Right. <laughs> well, we were all not correct. So yeah, it's but, not, okay. Just on a different <laughs> spectrum, you know, you were better than I was. Wow. <laughs> OMG. <laughs> OMG. Yeah, so, so we can briefly talk about that, then we could conclude. Yeah. yeah, I actually don't know how I built it. Okay, <clears throat> I, I, <clears throat> sorry, one second. <laughs> because, let me take a sip. You've been sipping, sipping the whole time. Huh? I don't know, I don't know. Balance is good, <laughs> balance, baby. I don't know. Mm. 
I think my where how I was brought up. Okay. Okay. I I was born in a Christian home, mm. and taught Christian values. Right. I may not have dipped it until I went for a camp, British camp, the first time I met Apostle, mm. <clears throat> and then into uni. You know, I may not have really dipped the Christian values, right. but I think I was surrounded with a lot of going to church, right. hearing things. My parents were marriage counselors. Right. So parents, you think that the things that you heard helped in building the, your the things I heard and the things I saw. Because yeah. as I grew older, I saw that they used to disagree on things. Right. But when I was much younger... Mm. You don't remember how I never remember. That. Yes. I right. was probably too oblivious to it. Right. Maybe my elder siblings would have more would movies, have but it, yeah. Like in having conversations with them about their marriage and their relationships right now, yeah. like I, I realized that they tried. Right. They had a lot of issues, but they dealt Obviously, with it. Obviously, they really tried. They, they really tried, tried because, <laughs> <laughs> because they helped build a good thing. But then yeah. also, what closer to the time that we met, mm -hmm. that was a lot of that was a lot when I was having a lot of mind renewal because right. I was paying attention to what was being taught, right? right. Um, at Kingdom Christian Fellowship mm. on Ashesi campus. So yeah. I was paying attention to what was being taught, what I was learning, yeah. knowing what to do, what not to do. Right. And then I think my personality naturally to it just jabbed with you because I, what what made you I think when I when I'm when I was asking you this question, what mm -hmm. I remembered was a season where we had a breakup uh -huh. from our first coming together. Mm -hmm. So um, so we were together for uh, when we like the latter part of our freshman year, mm -hmm. and then we we part ways. We started catching feelings. We're yeah. together now, right now in this modern day and age. We have to explain. We have to, we have to explain, we have to explain, we have to explain because we started catching feelings. Right. Like oh, we spend time with each other. We like each other. Yeah. And all of that. So that was the latter part of our first year. Absolutely. And then go on. And then um, we 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 split. Mm. Why? Yes. I want. I will let let let's go. I mean, you broke, you broke my heart. Me ah. and me. <laughs> let's not get into it. Why lolling? I'm just lolling because You're wow. Lolling. The thing is, let's 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 just put it out there. There was okay. this time where you got this prophecy that this woman you are with is not the woman you are going. Yes, we are going to get married to. Yeah. At the time, and then when you hear something, then yeah like he doesn't want to disappoint god right so, god is your priority so i mean in the next episodes we can we, we can talk about talk that. about prophet and um, prophetic words and, and, and um yes so yeah. okay so we shouldn't get into that no let's not we shouldn't get into it. Let's let's not just, get into it. we don't we don't sound spice i think we yes ma'am are you sure we didn't talk about it last the we, last we didn't, we didn't. I, don't, I don't think ah, boy. And yeah, you're in for a treat so <laughs> so foundation so right. how what how did you build your foundation because okay, so back to the story. So if when we, we, we went we split. No, 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 you, we're not we're not talking about the story. Okay, we split and then yeah. okay. So we on. split, we came back. Uh -huh. So that period where we split I was about three months, uh -huh. I saw that God has taught me a lot about love. Mm. And I noticed that that was an, a crucial um element to the found our found the foundation that would um lead us to where we are. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not saying that I learned everything about yeah. love in that season, yeah. but it was very crucial for my assignment. And yeah. that just goes ahead to emphasize that you must identify the things that you are, you are struggling with mm -hmm. and begin to work on it towards yeah. um, being there for the other person. I mean, struggles like what? So, like for patience. Instance, patience. You have issues with patience. You yeah. have issues with. You're picky. Yeah. You're very yeah. yeah. Like mm -hmm. arrogant. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. You are rude. Yeah. Um, you find it hard to respect. You find people, it hard to respect. Types of people. You find it hard to forgive people, etc. You find et it hard to listen to other people. Ex ex exactly. You, you can't yeah. have like an argument and agree to disagree. Absolutely. Like I'm right now. I'm just I'm pulling out red flags from the air. Yeah. Like things that like we try not to do. Yeah. You are just not nice. Like you yeah. pass snide comments. Absolutely. Say sarcastic things yeah. that are hateful. Yeah. You remember I was I could be, I could be very sarcastic yeah, 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 in the beginning very, of our, yeah, our yeah. relationship. I remember. And I came from a very sarcastic like sarcasm was thrown as like good morning. Right. Like <laughs> in the environment I grew yeah, up yeah. in. Yeah. And and it was funny, you know, it wasn't it wasn't meant to, you know, insult or anything. Mm. But that's not how yeah. we were relating. Absolutely. It was hard for you yeah. to yeah. vibe with that. I agree. 
very, very, very important. Identify your flaws. And that's something Apostle, Apostle Kingsley has been emphasizing yeah. um, for, for us, that you make sure that the, the structures that, I mean, the, the, the things that you struggle with, mm-hmm. you begin to work on it. Because when you go into a relationship, it's not about you, not just necessarily about you, yeah. but about the other person. Yeah. Um, Living to serve one another. You know, the scripture talks yeah. about submit one unto the other. Yes. So it's about submission one unto the other. Absolutely. And serving one, one. Like It's just like our Christian life. Yeah. How you live to serve others. Yeah. So as we wrap up, mm. I evidently there is... Sometimes you may be struggling with something. Because you remember mm. when we started um, dating, mm. there was this... I came from a background that I learned very to be very assertive right very outspoken right and i needed to hone that for it to be to be of benefit to this relationship yeah and i i didn't even realize that that was something i had to i was struggling with mm. so one thing i want to put like to mention in this conversation is that there's the need to adjust mm. and sort of take a step out of yourself and ask god right what are the things that I love that. I, I'm struggling with. Absolutely. Because in my mind, I was a perfect person. Like, hey, Maza. I'm a cash for you, That's you know? Right. So, <laughs> so it, it takes some deep humility yeah. and some deep se- searching and seeking. Searching and seeking. It's very... To see absolutely. you for who you are. Yeah. And the reason for the deep searching and seeking, mm-hmm. especially when you're entering into marriage, is because of the, the long haul. Mm. Um, it's... Over a very long period of time. Yeah. I mean, everyone who enters into marriage has that aspiration. Yeah. They're going for a very long yeah. time. It may, so this may not happen in every marriage, but yeah. like, that's the expectation. That's the expectation. Yeah. And this just brings my mind to those Osu buildings. When we yesterday went to the Independence Square, mm-hmm. the Independence Square is still standing because of its foundation. Mm. Mm. Do you get it? And, and sometimes the, the older, for, for if, you're, if you are into um, cin- um, cinematography, you notice that the older the building, the nicer the feel. Hey! Oh, yeah. Talk to us. The feel. If Tree was here, you would, you would, you would explain <laughs> it to us. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The nicer, the, the older the building, the uh-huh. more, you know, more aesthetic, aesthetic mm. the, the recorded, the, sh- the shot would look. Mm. I, get get it. It. So, I get it. The foundation is very, very crucial, and, especially for the long haul. And if it's going to be about the long haul, mm. seasons change, yeah. times change, lots of things change. But what we know about the word is his his, his word, word never changes. His word never changes. It's seasonal. It's, 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 yes, it's, yes. In every season, there's something in it for you. So, like, mm. if you really build on a foundation that is that you know static or constant. Mm. You have something more Absolutely. concrete to rely very, on. Very, very concrete. I've also said the last time that it, the moment you say, I love you because mm. you're already heading towards error. Because you, if you love them because of something, right. once that thing, One thing changes, changes that means your love crumbles. is changing. Absolutely. You know? So I just to love say, you because I love Christ. Yes. Or in spite of the stuff that, you know, That's have to do like with about you. you. But then, yeah, actually, that, that's more really in spite of, yeah, us. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there are some things that will definitely make you likable, right? Right, right? or yeah. make it easier for me to live with you or yeah, yeah. love, like, you know, but it's vibe easy with to you. live with you, though. Yeah, glory to God. I, I think, I think easier it's been easier for me to live with you than for you to live with me, just because well, we'll get to that later. But, masa, masa, masa. oh, okay, you when, when we get there, I'll explain. Okay, I'll explain. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> So yes, ensuring that mm. you your foundation or your relationship yeah. or how you relate with people is scripturally based right. or based on God, based on Absolutely. His love. Yeah, I think there's a lot to unwrap. I- yeah, a lot to unwrap. But my concluding statement is about the mortifying the desires of the flesh, and it's something that we've been talking about in Zion Impact Ministries mm-hmm. throughout this yeah. month, and and it's been eye opening. So and as much as your foundation. As you, I mean, there are certain things that have, have been very important in your foundation building. Mm-hmm. There's still a lot of things that you must continue to do to keep that foundation strong. Mm-hmm. And that's where the motif, mot- mortification of, hey, that's right, man. The, the mortification of the flesh, mm-hmm. which means that the, the killing, the killing right? of the flesh. Okay. Not necessarily holding a knife to your neck, but identifying the things of the flesh that you struggle with. 
that you and need and put it. that you need to put an end to. Yeah. And remember last week and uh, last week Sunday, Apostle uh, read the scripture. The first scripture he mentioned was Galatians chapter five, mm-hmm. and it was eye opening for me. We don't necessarily have to read it, so okay. those who will be listening can, can read it from the New Living Translation. It was mind boggling. Mm-hmm. And the mortification of the flesh, killing the flesh, identifying the things that you are struggling with is very essential to keep the foundation very strong. So mm-hmm. it's, it's a daily learning thing. Yeah. And it's something that you you cannot do void of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And yeah. that's why it's, it's, it's a triune relationship. Yeah. Is it a triune? Tri- yeah. I, I triune. got it. You got it? I, I got it. Triune. Yeah. You, what school did you go to? The school you went to. <laughs> <laughs> Right, but yeah, I I just feel like it's a a triune relationship, mm-hmm. and it, it cannot be done with without the Holy Spirit. Yeah, because the scripture that we read earlier on in First John chapter four, from verse seven and eight, it shows that God is love. He that knows God knows yes. love. So basically, God must be the foundation mm-hmm. in um in uh, yes in every aspect of the, yeah. of the relationship. I mean, that's 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 my that's my, actually my concluding statement. There's something I want I want us to brood on. Something that we are even still brooding on. I was yeah. listening to, re-listening to the sermon um, yesterday, and it's something that we must, we must, we must turn on. So that so it never ends, does it? It never ends. The knowledge of who God is, yes, the pursuit of but love. We get better as we go. We we we, we learn on the assignment. Yeah. yeah, I love it. Yeah, a journey that never ends. Yeah, but How it's exciting. a journey that can be very, very beautiful. Yes, it can. And that's what we pray for ourselves, and we pray for all our listeners. In your own listening, yeah. yeah. And that's why we're here. We're trying to, you know, yeah. keep making sure that this relationship is beautiful and yeah. any relationship that is tied to this podcast Absolutely. is beautiful. Yeah. Okay. We'll set off now to begin our day. Cheers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Let's have a good day. Have a fruitful day. We want to share a prayer with you. For those who are listening to us and also for us, um, and we are praying and we are asking the Holy Spirit to continue to teach us and help us to mortify the desires of our flesh mm-hmm. so that we can build a solid foundation for God. We are also praying for those who are in the single state where they don't have necessarily have anybody in their lives, but they are also preparing mm-hmm. for um, to be able to meet the person that God has prepared for them. That in this single state, God will begin to identify or show them certain things that they must work on. Mm-hmm. They must do certain things that they never thought needs to be worked on because once these things are worked on it will help solidify a relationship centered on christ mm-hmm. or a marriage centered on christ mm-hmm. so that's my that's also my prayer for yeah. for the them single um, people yeah my prayer is that nobody ever gets to a point where they think they know enough mm. about god or Absolutely. they know enough about love i love that um, to cease the search mm. for what they need to work on mm. because i think if after I work on one thing in this season, the yeah. next season, right. something else comes up. Right. So may we never be satisfied. Amen. And may we always seek for more of God. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 See you next time. See you next time. Handshake. <laughs> You're far. Oh, we are too far. You can't do it. You can't do it. <laughs> but. <laughs>